Hey everybody, I'm here with eCar President Marilyn Lusher and today we had a broker open forum. Got a lot of great information, didn't we? Yes, we did. Why don't you go ahead and share some of it? Okay, I'd love to. We had two major topics of discussion. One was the entry-only listing in the MLS. An entry-only listing is a limited service to a seller for access to the MLS via a listing agent who is usually paid a flat fee. Because the MLS is a system of compensation, a co-broke fee must be offered. According to Kristen Hassanik, CTR attorney, it's permissible to enter $1 in the buyer broker compensation field with the understanding that the buyer's agent may negotiate directly with the seller. It is up to the buyer's broker to collect the commission through the buyer broker agreement or through a commission agreement directly with the seller. The seller's contact information must be entered in the agent to agent remarks. Under no circumstances can the listing agent add the seller's contact information to the public remarks. So, folks, this is the only time where you're allowed to contact the listing agent's client. Am I right? That is correct. Okay. Second topic was the discovery of material facts. By law, the listing agent has an obligation to disclose material facts about a property. The seller is also obligated to disclose any material defects on the property disclosure form. In a situation where a home has been inspected, a material defect is revealed, and the buyer walks away under paragraph 17, the listing agent should recommend to the seller to update the property condition disclosure form, but they cannot fill out the form or tell them what to write. Listing agents are obligated to disclose what they know before a buyer commits to a property. The best practice would be to add any material defect to agent remarks as a courtesy to buyers, agents, and future buyers. Excellent information, and we hope that you all will be listing and share that with your agents if you're a broker. Okay, quick uh, update on events. On August 18th, Bowling for Back to School, that's a free event as long as you give a donation for um, backpacks or school supplies. August, uh, oh, sorry, that was August 17th. On August 18th, another free event with eCar is a Lunch and Learn, the 123 Close Part 3. This is on inspections, remediation, and septic. Uh, and then we've got a couple of membership meetings that we want you to mark your calendar with. Okay, we have on September 20th, which is our all-day realtor safety and CE class course um, and our membership luncheon. October 18th is our legislative breakfast, which features our CTR president, Mike Barbaro, who's always excited to come speak with our members and offer information on what's happening on the state level and up in Hartford. And by the way, one last thing, we only need 17 more members to invest $15 in our pack, and we have made our goal. So thanks to all of you who are getting it done. Thank you, everyone. Hope you enjoy the video.